Hello everyone, hello. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is 37 million American adults now estimated to have chronic kidney disease. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation, so let's get started. Update from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention still shows most with CKD don't know they have it. New York, New York, July 17, 2019, the number of American adults who have chronic kidney disease, CKD, is now estimated to be 37 million. That's one out of seven or 15% of the adult population according to the latest data analyzed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which is the CDC. The higher estimate in the number of Americans affected by chronic kidney disease versus statistics reported in previous years is due to several factors, including aging population, an increased prevalence of the risk factors such as diabetes, hypertension, according to the CDC. Approximately 90% of people who have CKD are not even aware they have it. In fact, one of every two people with very low kidney function who are not on dialysis don't know they have CKD. The National Kidney Foundation, which is NKF, estimates that one of every three adults, some 80 million people, is at risk for CKD. It is the ninth leading cause of death in the U.S., killing more people than breast cancer, or prostate cancer, according to the CDC. Chronic kidney disease is the most unrecognized public health crisis in this country. And now with 37 million people suffering, it is time for more Americans to finally take notice, said Kevin Legino, CEO, National Kidney Foundation. NKF will continue to lead the way in rallying actions on this problem by increasing CKD awareness, prevention, early detection, advocacy for kidney patients, and support for research to improve treatment and outcomes. Chronic kidney disease means both kidneys are damaged and losing their ability to keep individuals healthy. Dialysis or kidney transplant is needed to stay alive. Kidney failure treated with dialysis or kidney transplant is called end-stage kidney disease, ESKD. Other key CKD findings are that CKD is more common in American women, 15%, than men, which is 12%. People of African American, Hispanic, Native American, Asian, and Pacific Islanders descent are at increased risk for developing the disease. African Americans are more than three times more likely than whites to develop ESKD compared to non-Hispanics. Hispanics are almost 1.3 times more likely to receive a diagnosis of kidney failure. These minority populations have high rates of diabetes or high blood pressure, putting them at a higher risk for e ESKD. Risk factors for CKD include having diabetes, high blood pressure, family history of kidney failure, being age 60 or older, obesity, heart disease, and past damage to kidneys. The CD, excuse me, the CKD, the CDC study, which analyzed adults age 18 or older with CKD stages one through four, used data from 2013 to 2016 National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey and the CKD Epidemiology Collaboration Equation. Okay, everyone, this is 37 million American adults now estimated to have chronic kidney disease. Guys, as you see, this is a very, very large number. And as the uh, National Kidney Foundation keep stating over and over, most of these people, the 37 million, 
don't even know that they have CKD. And they're walking around feeling not well, you know. So this is a wake-up call for America. And from what the CDC says, this is the ninth leading cause of death in the U.S., higher than breast cancer or prostate cancer, which I did not know. So guys, this is a wake-up call for all of us that this needs, this disease needs to be put as a national crisis in America so that it can get the proper um, attention that it needs to let the people know that are not feeling well or just not knowing that they're sick to get tested for this disease so it can be prevented or stopped in its tracks. So guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And you know, and as you see, there are so many people working in the background for our better health. And I'm sending you lots of love and affection. And of course, the National Kidney Foundation, who works on all of our behalfs, plus so many more organizations, kidney organizations for all of us, are trying to find ways to help all of us to prevent, excuse me, to prevent this disease first of all, to stop it in its tracks and to bring more awareness to other um, patients and people that are not being treated for this disease. So guys, the only thing that we have to do is stay compliant to our doctors always. Be positive, be hopeful, because this too shall pass, hopefully. So guys, the next thing we need to do is take care of ourselves and know that this too shall pass. And we have to always be aware and just to spread the word of, of um, chronic kidney disease around so people know that this is a leading problem in the medical community in this country. So guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next video. Bye.